here. Do you like that? <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. I thought it was dead, but it's still alive, so you're not meant to touch turtles. We're gonna grab it and run it to the water and see if we can let it go. I'm not sure what sort of condition it is in. Oh, jeez, he's hot. Yeah, alright, let's go. We're getting closer to the water now. He's literally in the middle of nowhere just frying. <laughs> It's an alligator snapping turtle. You see that tongue and that beak in there? Oh, hell no, you crazy boy. <laughs> so look, the reason why they call them alligator snapping turtles, they're the largest freshwater turtle in the United States. Not saltwater, but freshwater. So the alligator phrase comes from the ridges on the shell looks like an alligator. And his hands down here and his tail look like alligator skin as well. Now if you look closely in that beak down there, this is prehistoric looking beak. That little pink thing right there is a tongue. They use it as a lure, like a worm. When you go fishing and that worm goes down there, that fish grabs it, you pull him up. He got one built in his mouth already. He was born that way. So when a fish goes in there, you ain't getting out of there, buddy. Crazy, right? The alligator snapping turtle. Yo, like I just, I just, we were just right here, right? We pulled up. And there was this turtle, right? And it was just chilling. So I ran in. This water's disgusting. But I ran in and grabbed it. My legs are still wet. But look, there's like a seven foot gator in here. And I think it got a good bite of the turtle. Because this poor guy's missing a chunk. I'm going to bring this little guy home. Put him in my big pond where it's not going to get harassed by alligators. All right, so what we're going to do now, I have the turtle right here. I have some hydrogen peroxide. I'm just going to spray the wound, right? Just make sure that there is no infections on this wound. Because an infection will kill this guy. The bite isn't that bad, but it, it took a pretty big chunk out of its shell. Luckily, all his feet are intact. Everything like that is intact. So I just hope this guy's going to make it. I'm going to leave this little guy right about here. Right under this tree so there's no predators that can see him. And hopefully, hopefully he makes it. But he's going to be able to have this big old pond if he does. Oh,